Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So as y'all can see by the title today, I'm gonna be giving y'all a lazy makeup routine tutorial kind of. And what I mean by this is like, whenever I don't wanna do all the steps that my makeup routine has, this is what I do. Also, Hoyle is in the back if y'all see his feet, but yeah. I already did my eyebrows, as y'all can tell. That's gonna be a separate video. I finally did an updated eyebrow routine if y'all wanna go see it. I don't know if it's gonna be up before this video, but I did do an eyebrow routine tutorial. But I also want to show y'all like what I do on my lazy days when I don't feel like doing makeup. Also, I am filming on the camera. As y'all can tell by the quality, it's better. But I am so sorry if I'm not looking here. I'm looking like up there because the little screen is up there and I can see myself up there. So, okay. Hoyle, can you shut up? Oh, he's like biting really hard to the point. Sorry. Commercial break. All right, we're back. Um, if y'all don't know, we also got a new dog. If y'all haven't seen Julian's video, but his name is Milo and he's a little baby. He's 11 weeks old and he bites anything he freaking sees, including your hands. So he was biting on his hands and it was hurting him. So that's why there was a little commercial break, but now he's biting on the bone. Anyway, uh, back to the video. Whenever I feel lazy, I don't feel like using my e.l.f. gripping primer because I feel like I only use this on special occasions or when I'm gonna like do my makeup for the whole day, I'm gonna wear like more than five hours. But whenever I don't, I either use this Wet n Wild Primer Serum. It's a hydrating one and it's almost out. I need to throw this out actually. Or I just use any like primer that I don't really like like. I haven't even used this one either. Okay, actually we're gonna use that one today and see if I like it or not. I was gonna use this Honey Do Me Up primer. I'm gonna use this NYX Bear With Me Primer. It's kind of like a weird consistency and I haven't used it in the longest time ever, but I'm gonna use it. It's not expired by the way, cause I got it like probably like three months ago, but I haven't used it since then. Um, but basically I just get some and put some all over my face. That is a lot of primer. <laughs> okay, so yeah, on my lazy days, I've just used whatever primer I see on site. I really like focus it everywhere on my face and on my temples. I feel like I used to forget my temples a lot when using primer and that's why I used to get like a lot of pimples here but now I always remember to put some and I already did put some on my forehead because I did uh, do my eyebrows and I'm gonna put some on the bottom of my eyes as well. So usually I would use foundation, but on my lazy days I use concealer as my foundation. And I use this NARS concealer in the shade Light 2.2. And I basically just put it all over my blemishes. And I told in the video where I did my eyebrows, I was telling y'all how um, ever since I dropped that skincare video, I have been getting a lot of acne lately. And which one of you bitches gave me a hole? Yeah, I know y'all did because I was not breaking out before that video and now I have a lot of pimples and I don't know where they came from. Like I've been using the same stuff. I just put some everywhere except under my eyes. I'm gonna just put some just for a little bit more coverage. So now we look like this and obviously this is too freaking light. So we're gonna take this Born This Way concealer. It's in the shade Golden Beige. This is more of my color and I just put some on top of that don't use too much so that it has like a balancing shade but i do put a lot on my forehead because my forehead is dark since i don't feel like getting up to wash my beauty blender my dirty beauty blender i use a brush i know right i don't use brushes but i use this vegan morphe brush in the style v102 and i'm just gonna start by just blending everything together and i really like this brush because it's really really dense it's not like fluffy or anything and i feel like it really like makes um your foundation look really really smooth i wasn't a big fan of blending foundation or anything on my face with brushes but ever since i found like these dense brushes i feel like i use them all the time when i like don't feel like using a beauty blender And I feel like you don't have to use a lot of product. They give you more coverage than a beauty blender does. So you don't have to use as much product as you do. I got it at Ulta if you guys are wondering or if you guys are interested in getting it. Also, bring it down to your neck because, bitch, don't forget to blend your neck, okay? 
Also, this camera makes me look a little pale. I don't know why. I have to like figure out the settings and everything. But this little mixture that I did of the concealers is really like matches me well. Um, I don't know if like the camera picks it up as like a lighter shade. If you guys are looking into like using another concealer as foundation, I feel like those two are really, really good as like a foundation base. Okay, it's been eight minutes and I'm only on the foundation part, so I need to hurry the up. We're not gonna do any like cream contour or cream blush or anything because this is a lazy tutorial. So we're just gonna get straight on concealer under the eyes. And I use this Wet n Wild Incognito Concealer in the shade Fair. It's really, really light, but I feel like it just changes your shade, you know? It doesn't look as light as it does when you put it on because it's a really thin concealer. Yesterday, I bought this uh, Morphe Vegan V105 brush and it's supposed to be like a... Like, do y'all see what I mean? Like, it's not as... Anyway, I freaking bought it yesterday and because I want to start like getting more into brushes for blending my makeup. But I don't know if this is like gonna be what I'm looking for. And I basically just bring it all the way like down this concealer and focus it on like the inner corner right here. Okay. I don't really like it because it's not as fast as I would like it to be. And especially on my lazy days, I don't think I would be using this because it takes a long time to blend. But it does blend your concealer really good. But do y'all see what I mean? How everything like comes together with this concealer. Like it's not as light as it is. Say hi, Colasun. The rest that we have on this little brush, I'm kind of just going to do like a little cut right here. Just to like kind of blend everything together, I'm going to go back in with this brush and just kind of blend everything together. There we go. Okay, I kind of like that brush to be honest. Okay, now we're going to take our powder. Like I said, we're not doing any cream contour or anything. I'm going to take the Huda Beauty powder in the shade Pound Cake. And I'm going to basically set my face. Also, don't forget to blend your creases, okay? Before you bake or before you set. Also, I do use a little powder puff to blend in my concealer. Because I just feel like it's better. Now that I set basically my whole face, I feel like it is set in place and I look really, really pale. But we're going to fix that, okay? Don't be scared. And we're going to take this little, like, brush. It's like a little dense kind of brush. I used to use it to blend my cream contour, but now I use it for powder contour. I'm going to take this Juvia's Place Bronze Palette. And I'm just going to, like, mix these two shades in and focus it, like, and my temple is kind of, like, right here. Yeah, right there. Also, don't worry about bringing it all the way here because we are going to use another brush to bring it, like, down. But do freaking go over your temples and on your forehead because it just makes everything, like, connect. Now we're going to use a more fluffier brush and this is where we're going to, like, kind of blend this little bronzer more. Okay, just like that. Now we look a little bit more bronzed. And if you want to like kind of bring it down so that you don't look too pale right here in your jawline or to like define your jawline, you can also do that. I kind of don't do it all the time, but if I do remember, I'll do it. Then we're going to contour our nose. Now I'm going to take this um, e.l.f. blending brush. It's kind of like flat, but like fluffy. So we're going to take this Hula bronzer in the shade Caramel. And I'm just going to go over my nose. Make my nose skinnier because I have a fat ass nose. Okay, that looks crazy. I know. We're gonna take like another fluffy brush and we're not gonna use any more product on it. This is just like a blending brush and we're just gonna blend everything so it doesn't look too, too harsh. 
if I feel like I need a little bit more, I use a lighter bronzer. And I'm going to use this, like, the same bronzer that I use for right here. I'm going to use it on my nose a little bit. And I'm kind of just going to go over it with the fluffy brush, not with the first brush. And I'm just going to define it a little bit more. I'm going to take this Beauty Bakery powder just because it leaves, like, a little line whenever you, like, take it off. Which is why I like using it for, like, baking, especially my nose. really light on the sides because i don't like the line showing too much on the sides i'm gonna cut this right here doesn't have to be perfect and then we're gonna put blush on i think this is the last base step i have this dubious place uh blush palette it's in the shade volume four because there's like different palettes and i basically just go in with this one more and just do like a tap of that one because this is really pigmented you have to kind of like be careful with this Sorry, the camera died. I need to wipe off this fake that I had on my nose. And if I feel like my contour doesn't look as dark as I want it to look, I kind of just go in with a brush. Looks like this. I take this Milani Matte Setting Spray and then I just spray it all over my face. That's it. A lot of people have told me that it leaves like black spots on it. That used to happen to me like maybe like a year ago but even if i don't shake it now it doesn't do that anymore i don't know if i used to get like maybe expired ones but just make sure to like shake it really well because it used to do that to me as well now we're gonna wipe away this foundation off the lips The reason I do that is because it's easier for me to line my lips if I already know what I'm aligned around. So when I like take off the foundation of my lips, I really make sure to like get the shape that I want. And I already have like a cupid's bow, so I like make sure that's like well defined whenever I like take it off. I'm gonna use this NYX lip liner in the shade New Truffle. I haven't used this thing in a long, long time. And I basically just go over my natural lip shape. On the bottom, I kind of do overline it a little bit, just like right here. And then with the same lip liner, I'm kind of just going to fill in the side. Okay, and if I like how it looks like this, I will leave it like this. So I think I am going to leave it like this today. And the last step, or the second to last step, is to put um, mascara on my bottom lashes. The last step now, for real, is highlight. And I'm going to use this Danessa Myricks uh, Beauty Highlight. And now I'm just going to put some on my inner corner, my nose, my brow bone, and everywhere where I put highlight at normally. So I put, it's like a little purple highlighter. I really like it. So that is basically it. If you guys want to go see an updated eyebrow tutorial, I think it will be up before this video. So if you haven't watched that, go watch it. It'll be on my channel. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love y'all. And if you stay to the end, comment a white heart. I love y'all and I will see you on my next one. Bye.